Hey, what's up all you action figure lovers out there? Master Marvel's back at it once again, bringing you another action figure review. Tonight we're going to be taking a look at the Transformers Studio Series Shockwave. This is from, what, Dark of the Moon right here. Uh, this, <laughs> before I get into this really badass figure right here, uh, this video is meant for adult collectors only. I said it. It's over with. It's not for kids. All right, that shit's out of the way. All right, man, I gotta get, I gotta get this thing open. This thing is ridiculous, and uh, I hope it, I hope it happens. But like on the back of here, it shows. Okay, we got our parachuter, which it does show this guy already in the package. But it also shows these little dudes down here. But I don't see them in the package anywhere. But I'd, I'd like to see them somehow pop up. While I'm unboxing this some way, you know, so uh, I don't know. This is this is a really cool looking figure, though. I just love the way they did him. He's big. He looks like he. Oh my god, man! This is like, and, 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 and you don't see many of these out. I mean, I was lucky to find this one, and I might have seen him a couple other times, you know, over the, you know million times I've been out but anyways okay so looking at this dude and we'll get a better look at him when I can get this fucker cut out of here gotta have that switch so oh there they those little dudes are and oh my god those little dudes are little dudes now I thought the parachuter was little Fuck, guys, this is insane. These are definitely getting fed to the carpet for the vacuum cleaner. Uh, look at this. Here's one of these little fuckers. Look at that. That's some. I don't even think my camera's gonna like pick up on that. He's fucking like mic microscopic. So there's one of them, and here's the other. Uh, uh, I'm gonna lose them. I'm gonna lose them. They're really soft, rubbery. So let's get this other little dude out of here now. Ah, uh, you fucker. You better not deploy, parachute. Don't fucking deploy. You ain't got time for that shit. Okay, so yeah, the main guy here. Now, what I was trying to say before I got rudely interrupted with all this packaging bullshit was uh, this guy, if you could find him, if you, if you already have him, it's worth picking him up again. And you could argue with me if you want. It's, it's whatever. It's just all about a, a matter of opinion here. But this would make a perfect almost perfect stand in for like a miniaturized sentinel maybe for the x-men marvel legends because just the color contrast of this guy and it does resemble a sentinel wow he's got really soft rubbery hands that's crazy man what did they do so much soft rubber pieces on this figure what the fuck is going on uh, <laughs> it's like plastic that I've never even seen Hasbro use before. <laughs> but no, I'm serious, man. You take a look at this bad son of a bitch and tell me that he would not make a cool, just a sentinel. Like, had, had a few of them, you know? Like, some danger room sentinels or something. Because, I mean, we did see, we've seen sentinels show up in the X-Men of all different shapes and sizes. So, uh... Yeah, I know we're looking at Shockwave here, but that's a fucking Sentinel, man. Destroy all mutants. Halt, fugitive mutant. Yeah. <laughs> Some shit right there. God, this dude is awesome. And of course, 
I know this dude's supposed to be, like, massive. Like, even compared to, like, Optimus and Megatron, even. Like, he's a pretty massive guy. Uh, what does he transform into? I think it's... Yeah, some. It's almost like a fucking Death Star or something like a uh, Death Ray gun or satellite. I don't know. It's it's crazy. You guys probably barely caught a glimpse of that. You see it? You see it now? So, that, you know, moving on with the Sentinel here. <laughs> That's all I've been talking about. This fucking Sentinel looking son of a bitch. Um, God. So yeah, his size, I mean, look, like these little dudes right here, I mean, I know they're supposed to be small. These ain't no people size. I mean, this would be your people, your average people size, I guess, compared to him. So, I mean, uh, is that what this is? Is this guy jumping from, I don't, why the parachute guy? See, I've got to watch this movie again, but I do recognize these guys. These guys are very familiar. I recognize them. Uh, and I think these would be those robots that's probably like no bigger than maybe knee high to a human. I think these are little bitty guys, so in scale, I, I guess. Uh, I don't know. I, I, I just like the scale. I think he's a pretty, he's not he, overly massive, but he's just, he's heavily armed. He's, yeah, I don't know, he just feels really good. This is a cool figure right here. I love it a lot. Uh, it's got great articulation on it. Even these fucking things move on here. These rockets on the back, dude. Do you see that shit? What? What? The soft plastic, uh, this shit just falls right out. But I guess you can peg it either to the side of the arm or underneath. So you have options here, but when it's down here, it don't take much for it to just kind of wobble out. Man, the detail on this thing is awesome. And that purple paint job, that, that freaking metallic paint job of that purple is insane. And what we got, we got some some silver dry brushing in there to break it up and that's fucking cool that gun is ridiculous looking yeah so yeah this is this may be my favorite figure so far uh, out of the studio figures especially with like <laughs> Okay, so I, I love my Optimus Prime from the Bumblebee movie. He'll always, I, I think that'll always be right there at number one. But this is definitely like a, you know, breathing down its neck number two. It's awesome. Look at that. Just what you can do with it. I mean, it's, I want more of these. I really do. I want more of these so that I can make some fucking custom Sentinels and shit to put into my X-Men display. That'd be awesome. Anyways, you guys let me know what you think of this figure. I mean, you guys ain't gonna have to say it. I already know. I already know what you're gonna say. I mean, I don't know what you're gonna say. I know what you're gonna say. This thing is dope as fuck. And, and, and you should just say it out loud. So let me know, guys, what you think of this. Let me know what you think of the video. And, uh, you know that whole like, comment, and share thing. Uh... I and, and and that's just I'm saying that, but I have no idea if someone liked my video. I don't think I've ever seen a like. Maybe that's because no one's ever liked one. But I do get comments, stuff like that. But I, I I don't know. I don't see that show up in my feed. So, um, like it anyways. Share it if you can. And as always, God, it's your boy Master Marvel eighty here. Don't forget to subscribe, and I'll catch you guys later. Peace.